I feel a lot more alive now that I've done my skincare routine. Still tired. We had a rough night. I went, you know, to go to the bathroom like I usually do at two and four. It's clockwork. Potentially preparing me for the schedule that I will be on once baby's out. I don't know. Other than that, I could not sleep last night because my stomach was so itchy. Oh my goodness. I guess this could be the first thing that I mentioned in this video that I did not expect about pregnancy. How itchy your stomach would be in third trimester. I don't know if that's the case for every pregnant person, but for me, yeah, <laughs> I'm really feeling it. Maybe I'm being dramatic, but this itch is like no other. And I don't really want to scratch because I'm afraid of stretch marks and getting that and I don't want to irritate the skin. And also, <laughs> whenever I do scratch or like do it lightly, baby girl thinks I'm playing with her, so then she starts kicking and then that gets her up and then I'm just like no okay this is not working one way to help relieve the itchy pregnancy stomach if you look on my google everywhere it's hydrating your stomach I did that last night I got up and I used what I usually use day and night which is the Osea mega moisture duo I talked about this so much before I've been using the Undaria algae body oil and then the Undaria collagen body lotion and this is their mega moisture duo I've been using these products day and night to give myself that added moisture not just for my my belly but all over the body it's been hard for me to find products that actually truly hydrate my skin i feel like i'm on the drier side when it comes to my body it's really refreshing to find something that actually works really well i want to thank osea so much for sponsoring this part of the video i'm really happy that i get to work with them because i genuinely like the product so thank you to them for supporting me i'm gonna put it on baby girl right now because it's morning and it's time some of the main reasons why i love osea is because they're clean they're vegan they're cruelty free and they're a seaweed based skin and body care company it's really good high quality stuff that you can feel and I can see both the body oil and the body lotion has the Undaria seaweed integrated into it which helps replenish the skin's moisture barrier and keeps the skin looking healthy. I love the oil especially because unlike most body oils this is not greasy. It doesn't get greasy, doesn't get all over your clothes. It's rich but not greasy. My skin soaks it up and it just leaves it looking so beautiful and glowy. I love the body lotion because it's lightweight and instantly absorbing. So again, we're not worried about transfer on clothes. It just soaks into the skin as it should. When I apply it on top of the oil, it just seals everything in and it's just like the perfect combination, the perfect duo. I love it. I've been using this a lot more lately because of my increased belly itch. This definitely has been helping me because I'm getting properly hydrated and I can definitely feel it. I love how it smells, I love how it feels, I love the results. That's all you need to know. Get this hydrating set while supplies last. Use my code PREROOK10 to get 10% off so you can try it out for yourself. Promise you won't regret it. Let me know when you try it.
They just started doing um, construction in our bathroom. We're almost finished. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But I'm going to do my makeup in the office because I have no quiet space. Man, I work out. That's another thing that definitely I did not expect during pregnancy. I'm not sure why because you obviously would have less energy because you're creating a human but for some reason I just thought because I lived an active lifestyle that I was just going to continue my active lifestyle throughout pregnancy but that's been very challenging for me. The times that I probably can do that what I just did is like once to twice a week maybe sometimes not even at all like all I can do is a walk that's mainly how I've been staying active is just like my walks it was disappointing and the hardest thing I think in my first trimester for me to mentally get a grip on that I wasn't going to be as active as I was before pregnancy I see other pregnant women on social media and I see them working out and I see them having these like routines and regimens and I'm just like, how? Because like, I can't. I'm so much more tired. My body is just so much more fatigued. It just takes everything out of me. Let's start with the base. Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna try to talk to you while I do this. We're gonna go for a natural look. As always, side note, I didn't show it on camera, but I did reapply my skincare base after I did my workout because I wanted a clean start. And it's midday, so I definitely need to reapply sunscreen and stuff so that's what i did so we're all fresh don't want to work out and then put makeup on afterward like that that's a no-go so don't do that i'm going to use the milk makeup kush brow shadow stick to do my eyebrows today because i really want something quick i guess because i went on like a negative note let's go for a positive note. let's talk about something positive that i didn't expect the kicks i knew of course that the baby would kick me, right? Let me talk while I do this. I knew that I would get the kicks. I just didn't know how intense they would be and just how frequent they would be. I always just imagined like feeling a kick here and there, like that's what would happen. This human moves like a human every hour, like all the time. She's moving right now. Like it just becomes like part of your life after a certain point in the pregnancy. And it's such a beautiful thing because I did not expect that to be so intense and it's so fun and like you can play with your belly and like play with them in the womb i did not for some reason expect that she gets hiccups all the time and it's the cutest thing to feel them inside of you and to like know how consistent they are it's just it's something else it's really cool though definitely did not expect the heartburn i've never had heartburn before pregnancy maybe like once in my entire life so that's been a real like challenge to adjust to skin mimetic from make um for me water is what does it to me if i drink too much water in a day i get really bad heartburn if i don't drink a lot of water i'm good to go so it's been hard to like balance that and and figure that out i did not expect it to be like that i have learned that as long as I'm eating something, like snacking on something, it does help. So I just have to make sure that I'm eating or snacking on something while I'm drinking water. So I make sure I get my water intake for the day. I thought I would be so much more hungry during pregnancy. That is one thing that I guess surprised me and I'm not. But I feel like I've maintained the same hunger levels. Like I haven't really been very hungry. Maybe that will come when she grows even more in this trimester. I don't know. Another thing that I didn't expect. This is the Milk Makeup Bronzing Stick that I love so much. I talk about all the time. It's amazing. That's what we're using today. But um, anyway, another thing that I didn't expect about pregnancy was just how difficult first trimester and third trimester are. I went into it, I just thought that maybe in the first trimester it would be a challenge and then it would subside um, because your body's like just getting used to the hormones and stuff. That hasn't been the case because after the first trimester and I experienced extreme exhaustion, I experienced that, I thought that was like the end of it, that'd be the worst of the pregnancy. And then you hear about how second trimester is a dream and that is true, it's a dream, but you don't realize it's a dream because the third trimester is actually really challenging. It is a beautiful thing that the third trimester is so challenging, or at least I've only been in it for four weeks. And in my four weeks of experience, I have found that because I'm getting so much more uncomfortable, I'm so much less scared of labor. <laughs> I'm like, at this point, let's go, like, let's get it out, like, that's great. If I was in my second trimester and feeling like all the feelings that I felt during that time, it would be hard for me to 
be excited about labor and going through it. But now I'm excited because I'm so uncomfortable. So I guess that's a positive. And I just did not expect that. I've been trying to explain it to my friends that haven't been pregnant. I don't know if you feel this way, but this is how I compare it. Whenever you eat too much pasta and your stomach just feels full and you feel like big and round and sometimes you'll bloat, like that's how my third trimester has been feeling. Like I feel bloated with pasta. <laughs> that's the best way that I can describe it to someone that's never been pregnant before. It's very uncomfortable and interesting. I mean, obviously you get used to it. I'm gonna use my favorite um, peach glow, glow, glow sculpt from Say. This has been my favorite for the summer right now. And they have like a really cool little brush that, that looks really pretty with it. Like I said, it is a positive because it has definitely helped my mind prepare more for labor, accepting it, getting excited for it. We're really going light with this makeup look today. I think I'm just going to add some highlight. I wanted to change it up, but I don't have all of my other makeup because it's in the room. So we're just going to do the Sigma Sizzle for the highlight today. Truly, I think the best part of this experience is just seeing how my body is just doing things. I have no control of it over it. It's happening and it's beautiful. It kind of balances out all the negatives, you know, I guess you could call them. I'm gonna take this hourglass gel eyeliner and I'm gonna use that underneath my waterline just a little bit to darken this up and then we're gonna blend it out with a little blending brush. Like a little bit of a smoky commotion going on over here. I'm gonna smudge it with my hands too. I don't know, I just feel like it makes the eyes look so much better more peeling i'm gonna use my telescopic mascara pop that on another thing that this might be totally tmi but hey at this point of the video you're invested the changes to your nipples that's all i'll say they're not only sore but they're also itchy that feeling has increased mainly in the third trimester all right guys i think that that's all that i'm gonna do for makeup because I really don't want to do much more today. I feel like that's good. Um, let's finish off with the spray. I've actually been using the sprays. Naked Sundays, they have a hydrating glow mist SPF 50 spray. I think you're just supposed to use it like without makeup, but like I figured what a great extra protector from the sun this would be. This is my second time using it and I've liked it. I feel like it gives me like an added glow. One last thing that I did not expect about pregnancy. Everyone's been asking me like lately, what have I been craving? Like honestly, all of my food cravings have gone away. Like I don't really crave any specific foods like I did in my first and second trimester. My newest found craving is bleach. Not to eat it, not to drink it, but to smell it. I'm not indulging in this craving, but it is a strange craving of mine lately that I can't seem to shake. It all started when I was on my phone watching a cleaning video and it was actually a Clorox commercial. And they mixed water and bleach. They were cleaning a garage. And since I saw that video, I cannot get out of my head how it felt like in my mind to clean concrete with bleach. Like I have been dreaming, literally dreaming of uh, cleaning my garage with bleach and water, like scrubbing it, like getting satisfaction from that it is the strangest thing. I went into a bathroom one day and they had just cleaned and they definitely used bleach, you could tell. And I was just in euphoria. The funny thing about it is that I don't like bleach. I don't like it normally. Now it's just like an obsession. We've elevated because now it's not just bleach, it's like any kind of cleaning product. Like I'm all for it. Maybe it's just my brain smelling something clean and like getting ready for nesting. And so that's why like I'm so intense about cleaning products. I'm gonna take that because that makes sense. Otherwise, I'm just crazy. Keep the bleach away from me. <laughs> Let me apply some lip gloss real quick. This is the Peri Para. I love this lip gloss right now, it's so cute. I thought I was gonna have some food cravings that would be kind of weird and I was like excited to share it with you, but no, I have no weird food cravings. I just wanna smell bleach. I, I know I'm not the only one. Okay, let me know your weirdest pregnancy cravings if you've had them or if they are as weird as bleach. That's all that I have for you guys today. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day 
And now that I'm all ready, thank you guys for getting ready with me and listening to me babble along about all the things that I didn't expect about pregnancy. Although I did not expect all of these things, I'm so very grateful to be on this journey and excited to see what more is to come in the final weeks that we have. Thanks again so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.